Hi, this is part two of the seven different types of improvements that might be most beneficial for you to get the highest rate of return before you sell a house. So we're on number four right now since we covered the last, the first three last time. So um, number four is the bathroom. The bathroom is the second favorite uh, room in the house and people expect that to look pretty nice. Not as important as the kitchen, in popularity but it's yet yeah, it's expected to look nice and updated and there are some things that you can do that could make can make the bathroom look quite a bit more updated without breaking the bank uh, one of those things you might guess already is you know a lot of these houses that were from the 70s 80s 90s and even early 2000s the builders might have put really inexpensive uh, bathroom fixtures right above the mirror like the little light bulb things that look like Hollywood or something like that or a dressing room and that was very common so that's a really easy thing to change out the bathroom light is not very expensive but can, it can add a lot of um, a big improvement a lot of um, upgrade another thing is the mirror in the bathroom not a very expensive thing either but a nice probably a nice framed mirror would be really nice for an upgrade another thing could be the countertop but what I was going to mention that's less expensive is you, if you have an old cabinet in the bathroom, a lot of times now at Home Depot or Lowe's, they have um, units that might cost 200 to 250 that look like a piece of furniture and it's got a solid surface um, top on it and it's just such a nice um, big improvement for a very small price. Another thing is if your bathroom or if your bathtub is a plastic surround, I would say um, put some tile in. That's recommended. People are expecting, you know, finer things in their house like that. So that would be an improvement also without doing a total huge remodel. Um, converting converting a bathtub to a shower is going to cost between four and five thousand dollars. You might get a return in the high seventies to low eighties on that. But you can do other things if you can't do that kind of a if you don't want to do that kind of a project. So the next, um, the fifth improvement is um, painting. Painting is pretty easy. It's not that except, uh, expensive. A lot of people might think, oh, two years ago we painted, it's nice and neutral, but a house gets a lot of wear in just a couple of years, even if there's just a couple people in the house you know, moving the furniture around. So a really fresh coat of paint and a little depersonalization can can go very far. You might get a 109% return on that investment right there. So that's one of the least expensive things to do to make the house look a lot better. Another thing after that would be to do the flooring, some flooring. It doesn't have to be all of it. So let's say you've got um, some dirty tile that's got some brown grout or something like that, or it's carpeting that's just not looking too good. Um, I would look into getting some nice newer laminate floors or wood laminate can look so good nowadays you can't even really tell you can't even tell that it's actually laminate it's so good looking it's um, really a good way to go and that kind of return might be I'm trying to remember from my notes um, 82 or 84 percent but it will make the house look like new so that's a, a very good thing and then lastly is square footage um, for example Let's say the house is in a neighborhood, let's say it's a ranch neighborhood, and there's just a lot of different houses, a lot of them are the same styles, couple of styles, for example, like Allied Gardens, um, nice little neighborhood built in the 50s, there's like four or so different styles there, and um, let's say that you're, it's just, it just could use an extra room, like a family room, or an extra full bath. Sometimes that can be worthwhile. Now that kind of return might be more in the higher 70s or so, 70 to 80,000 depending. But if you want to match your house up to the others in the neighborhood to bring it up, um, sometimes it's, it's something that you can do. And I'd recommend not making your house the biggest in the neighborhood. That's hardly ever a good idea actually. But anyway, I hope those things helped out with ideas for improvements and you have a very nice day.